Hey everybody, Steve here and welcome back to Command Center Wargaming. We've got some pretty big news tonight. I usually don't make videos unscheduled and I'm not massive on the whole, you know, one video every day kind of thing. You know, every time Games Workshop release a model. If I did that, you know, I'd never get anything else done. But um, look, this was pretty big. I was just basically online browsing around and just checking up what's going on and uh and i saw this this thing here okay we've got a pretty big black fortress update blackstone fortress update going on and um it's pretty massive and as you can see here we've got this biomechanid uh biomechanical sort of alien thing going on and uh, i think it's pretty spectacular i reckon it looks awesome so uh what we'll do is we'll talk a little bit about this more later but, um, you know, I think that, you know, we could have something a little bit more than just, you know, hey, here's your random alien going on here. Um, look, the thing is, is that the way Games Workshop kind of release things, as we all know, they don't just make like one sprue for things. And we know that, uh, we know that, you know, this is coming out as a box set. And remember with Custodes, when they bought out Custodes, you know, it was like, oh yeah, kind of like here's some Custodes just slipped into the box and then it sold really well. And, um, and then now we've got like a whole, a whole army of Custodes. So I actually think, I actually think that this alien and, and not only the fact the, the timing of, of how it's being released uh, around Christmas time and everything like that. Okay. But I actually think the way that they've introduced this character, because when we watch the trailer, you'll actually see it's not just like the Sigmarine, you know, in the previous Blackstone Fortress updates, where it's like, you know, oh, yeah, look, here's a Sigmarine, here's a Mechanicus dude. It's like, in your face, check this out, guys. Holy Emperor, pray for your sins. He died for your sins. In your face, check this out, everybody. This is awesome, Okay. Um, and I think that, you know, if this is true, if this is true, if they're going to go down the new race, you know, with this, um, I think it's, it's very possible because knowing games workshops design style, they actually work off the de adaptive design. So they bring stuff in from, you know, other IPs, they tweak them a bit, make sure they're not breaching copyright. And they actually adapt other, you know, other ideas into their own universe. Like, I mean, you know, they've taken, they've, sorry, not taken, they've, they've drawn inspiration from, uh, Starship Troopers, you know, they've drawn inspiration from, uh, aliens, you know, the Tyranids. I mean, that's pretty dead obvious. And, um, you know, we've got Terminators running around and, you know, I mean, you know, skeletons, exoskeletons and Necrons and the list goes on. Okay. That's another video, but, uh, we'll just, you know, keep on course here. Um, but the thing is one race that they don't have in there is kind of like the whole war of the worlds kind of, uh, you know, sort of alien tripod walker thing. And it's something I always wondered. I always thought it was sort of like missing from Warhammer and it would actually fit in really, really well, like, you know, within the, um, within the universe. Now, the thing is, is that we do have tripods. I mean, you know, we've got, you know, stuff with the Necrons, but this is, this is like a completely like new race. This can literally be its own thing. Um, so I'm, look, I mean, there it is right there. I mean, look at that. That looks absolutely gorgeous. All right, that looks absolutely gorgeous. Like, it's kind of like, you know, a little bit Protoss. It's, I can see like War of the Worlds in here. I can see a bit of Aliens Queen. I can see a little bit of Howl to, uh, 2000 from 2001 Space Odyssey. Like, seriously, I, I just love, I just love, you know, Games Workshop designs and that. And I think they've like nailed it. And, um, what does it say here? The Blackstone Fortress is more than just a backdrop to your adventures in Warhammer Quest. But a, part a participant in them, and it will not hesitate to try and stop you. Here's a look of one of the mechanical minions, a spindle drone, right? So, I mean, look, wouldn't this be fantastic? I mean, we, we do think, you know, that, I mean, it's pretty much confirmed that, you know, 2019 is going to be the year of chaos. I mean, can you imagine they brought in some, like, awesome alien amphibic, you know, like, chaos biomechanical race i mean oh this is just look fantastic and you have like all these walkers and everything um there was a game that who sort of did it it was a game from sega uh it was called a universe universe uh, empire not empire at war 
galaxy or universe at war or, or universe. Like, tell me in the comments what it is. I think it was universe at war, galactic assault or earth assault or something like that. I can't remember. But anyway, it was from Sega. It had like, you know, you had Mecha and then you had like these war of the world scenes going on. And, um, you know, so it's, it's, it's really good. And there's sort of like two of the things that, um, Warhammer haven't done yet. Um, I know our sponsors, Playblast Interactive, is sort of working on a game where they've got Mecha and something similar to this, but it is different. Um, but, um, yeah. So anyway, guys, let's go ahead and let's, uh, let's watch this trailer and, uh, and see what's going on here. And I'm going to read through the article. We're going to have a bit of a chat about it here. So. Nothing within the Blackstone Fortress can be trusted. Within its walls lies a labyrinth of deceit. Our way forward is dictated by a constantly changing internal structure. Vast chambers and claustrophobic corridors reshape themselves into new paths, guiding us onwards and thwarting all hope of returning by the way we came. The darkened halls are lined with technology too ancient and esoteric to be identified. And, scattered amongst this archaeotech, fester the remains of those who ventured inside the fortress in ages past, or perhaps were brought within its bounds against their will. I am not a superstitious man, but I sense the hand of an unseen sentience at work. We are being watched. The oh, fortress yeah. knows the we are here. Yeah, these things are gonna be awesome. Oh, like I'm, I'm just, I'm just gonna have to rewind that. Like, so guys, can you see, can you see the difference, right? Be... When they go release something, it's that's just gonna be. Um, I am not a be, superstitious you know, man, in general, but I sense the hand of an unseen gonna, like, sentience at work. To us like that. We are being watched. Be, like, in your the face. fortress. No, we are is here. An introduction. I'm telling you, people. I'm telling you. This, this is a this is an introduction for things to come. All right, like they're literally showing us that this is going to be a new race, at least like a key player in the universe. Um. So anyway, I'll just look. I'm just going to go. For, I mean, it's pretty. That's pretty much it. But I'll just go through this very quickly with you. Um. The time has nearly come for you to explore the Blackstone Fortress for yourself. So this week we're taking a look into the lore of the new Warhammer Quest game with a video series. Check out part one and two. We're not going to cover that. There's plenty of other videos online that are covering that right now. Um, if you've not seen them already. Okay, so it's pretty awesome. And then I've already, uh, the Blackstone Fortress itself is a terrifying labyrinth. Corridors shift through new paths, open and close. And some vast and terrible um, sentient stir. I mean, look, guys, that's that's pretty much that that's pretty much just telling us right there and then. I'm I'm telling you, this is going to be a new race in in Warhammer, and this is this is absolutely fantastic. All right. So anyway, everybody, look, I'm going to wrap this up here. Like I said, I didn't intend for this to be like a huge video or anything. Um, check out some of our videos. Uh, we're a new channel, but like we've got a couple of videos up there. Consider subscribing, turning the uh, notifications on. Um, and look, I'd love to hear about what you think about this. Do you think this is going to be a new race in Warhammer 40k? Or do you think this is just like a gimmick? Me personally, I just think this is too well designed, right? To be just like a flim flam flick of the wrist thing. All right, there is a lot of thought that's gone into this to this model or to this design even, and it's like it has the template to become you know its own race later on. And I think you can even see just down here, there's like a little like a little drone of it or something just right there. And I think these things are going to be pretty big. Um, in actual fact, I think these this reminds me of the tripods for Command and Conquer Three. I don't know if anyone's ever played that game, but um, it's a, it's a pretty good game. Wow, everybody. All right, look, let me know in the comments. Um, you know, check out, uh, check out the link from our sponsors below. Free dice rolling app, you know, grab that for free, get some quick rolls. And, uh, and I'm going to leave this here. All right, everybody. This is Steven for Command Center Wargaming. And, uh, I'll see you out there. Absolutely crazy.